Greetings, Makosi. Uh, welcome to the review. Yeah, game. Yeah, Kaiser Chiefs versus Magis. I think. Oh, what a game, man. Uh, what a game. Uh, more especially if you look at the fact that we conceded early and uh, conceded from the ball being played aerial into the box and we failed to clear our lens. I think we could have done better. I think that is the only mistake that I can point out uh, in today's game, in tonight's game. Um, because we, we really uh, put our mark from the first whistle to this game. I think that's why maybe we were caught because uh, we, we started the game on the front foot. Um, we, we really controlled everything the first four minutes, to four, and, four and a half minutes, I think. And to see us conceding like that, it's, it's disappointing because you look at someone like Given and, and, um, and Dotley are a little bit tall. But then again, it, uh, we need to give credit to it's true. I mean, it was a very beautiful, well laced course into the into the box, and the finish I think kind of matches the quality of the course. So and then obviously, Magizi I think having allowed Orlando Pirates to come back to some, some, somehow kind of come come back um in that three two win, uh one anticipated that. A single goal wouldn't be enough, but I believe man we had a very very solid first half, because I even went as far as saying this was this was our best performance. I think the first half was our best performance this season. We we really wanted it, and uh, with the second half coming or with us going to half time one zero, uh, one started to see possibilities of a draw. And also possibilities of us losing because we had missed a lot of chances. I was just disappointed the fact that we we wanted to score uh by hitting long range shots um that were a little bit higher. And with a keeper like Chip as I mean he, he deals with those easily. And I even went as far as saying maybe we should try the hard and low ones. Because I think there's a goal that Chippers has considered against the Pirates uh, in that Culling Cup. Um, as soon as uh, Shabalala hit the um, low one and, and scored, then I was like, yes, I was right. And if you look at it, it was it was on on, on Chippers as his left. And the Culling Cup game against Pirates as well, it was on his left. So I think... Maybe his right is a little bit stronger than his left because even the second goal or the brace goal, Kashabala like came on his left as well. Uh, but it was, uh, those those two goals were well taken. I think one of the positives from this game would have to be the character that was shown by the boys, the control, how we moved the ball. Yes, my guess we were, sit, we're, we're obviously going to sit back. And with how they scored their second goal, I think the referees kind of drank us there because I think Happy was fouled. And I think maybe even though the, the, the decision went against us, um, we could have defended the free kick better because the ball just went through the wall. And I know a lot of people will complain about Ntuari, but I think uh, the defending of the wall could have been better. And maybe um we could have uh, avoided uh, considering that second goal. But uh, it's only the past... But you have to look at how do scores the first goal and then the stadium at the stadium the fans start being behind the team. I know they they were they were even singing and uh when we were one zero down, but that 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 first goal um Kashawala just gives us the, the the energy the edge, and then I think the first thing that was going to ring inside the minds and the ears are uh, my guess players was that we nearly fumbled the winner uh, again. Or a lead against uh, Orlando Pirates, could this be happening again? And they they considered the second one from obviously a well taken shot by 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 Chavalala. I think one of the standout players so far this season, three league goals among the top scorers this season. Um, so we we gotta give it to him, and I think I've always said that under Nabi he was definitely gonna shine, 
and i really think our, our management will do right by him and and obviously by by giving him um an a, a, an extension of a contract because he's one of the standout players his quality and it was also lovely to see our ddc boys playing together the graduates i mean i was very very happy with um, someone like sam kelos and i think his his best performance in that case achieves um senior team jersey ever since his his promotion i think he he showed that he gave us the and he showed them the character as well the way he was finding uh frost the way he was spreading the passes around so it was it was definitely a very very beautiful display to watch from him and also shout out to to Reeve Frost. I think Reeve has been also one of the standout players uh, under the Nabi ball. And with time, it's, it's also going to get better. Um, also, Dotley. Dotley had a great game. Man. Dotley, Dotley had a great game. I was happy also to see Given back. And I think we we need we need a strong and focused Given. Um, even if he needs to, even if he has to provide cover for for Inashu, I think whenever he's called up, he needs to show that he's ready. I know he got drawn out um with regards to the first goal, and totally failed to to deal with um with the ball uh, with the ball that was played inside the box. But I think they they also played well. I don't think it was a bad um performance defensively, but offensively we were good. But hey, missed we missed the target. A lot of times we really miss the target a lot of times but uh we we are coming i think we're coming all right and it will definitely be interesting to see how how we approach the game uh yes and now. and also serino coming in getting an assist you know serino has that that edge when it comes to to this football thing i mean he's a winner man you can even see by the way he plays but you can also tell that he's not 100 percent match fit and one would just hope that against sundowns he could have, he can just last just over 45 minutes that he played today so a, a, a big a big thank you to the boys for showing them the faithful that attended the game that we are here to fight for the badge i think tonight tonight was just playing for the badge it was about the badge more importantly it was just about the badge and fighting for the fans uh to to just go back home with something i know it's two points dropped but it could have been worse and also i know we've said this a lot of times the standard of our officials hey the officiating is bad man it's really really bad 